Hi team, so I thought it would be really fun today to explore land art and there are some lovely examples um, pictured here. So if we have a look at this beach here, you can see that they've drawn the most beautiful circles within the sand, almost like a mandala pattern, which is absolutely beautiful. And um, some others here, rocks that have been sliced in half and then put into a spiral and these um, very unusual leaf shapes here too. So what is land art? Well, it's also known as earthworks, and it's art that is made from things in, in the landscape and captured through photography. So art that is made from organic objects in, the, in our natural environment. So they could be made from pine cones, twigs, branches, rocks, pebbles, flowers, leaves, bark, grass, ice, snow, thorns, sand, and I'm sure you can think of loads of other natural items. So the main artists that um, explored this were Richard Long, Andy Goldsworthy, and Richard Schilling. So this is the work of Richard Long, and you can see he creates these amazing sculptures within the landscape, which are absolutely beautiful. The most famous of those artists is Andy Goldsworthy. And you can see here he's made a beautiful sculpture within the sand. I'm sure you've made some sand sculptures before, maybe a sandcastle. Um, and he also has explored these beautiful sculptures on the right. He very often explores curves and spirals and circles within his work. Nothing's been painted, things have just been arranged to create these really, really beautiful patterns. And Richard Schilling, so again, his work has not been painted, it's just been the leaves here have been collected and he's put them in an arrangement to make the colours work really well together. So often um, artists ex have lines and curves within their land art sculptures. So perhaps that's something that you would like to incorporate into your land art design that you create today. So last of all, I'm just going to show you some beautiful examples that might get your imaginations going. So if we have a look at this piece down here, dandelion circle on bluebells. How cool is that? So it's a line of dandelions within a sea of bluebells. Is this something that you could maybe create on the lawn? Perhaps maybe with daisies? Could you collect sticks? Could you collect leaves? I would like you to come up with your own design of some land art and I'd like you to photograph it from above, bird's eye view, and then upload it to our wall. Now if you don't have a garden or you can't go outside, you can still create a piece of art using anything that you can find in your home. Enjoy everybody, I can't wait to see what you come up with. 